In the boxing world, Floyd Mayweather has proven he's one of the best fighters in sports history. He beat Filipino superstar Manny Pacquiao in Las Vegas in an incredibly hyped up match. CNN's Don Riddell joins us now from Las Vegas. And Don, as we discussed yesterday, it was meant to be the best fight in history, but uh, didn't quite live up to that. Yeah, I'm not sure it was ever meant to be the best fight in history. A lot of people were hoping it was going to be. I mean, it was hyped for good reason with Pacquiao and Mayweather, the two best fighters of their generation, finally getting into the ring together. But maybe in the end, they just waited too long. They should have fought uh, five years ago. Uh, they both now are very much in the twilight of your, uh, their careers. Uh, you were talking about Chelsea just a minute ago. Uh, there's a phrase in uh, football called parking the bus. It means a defensive performance. And people are saying that's exactly what Mayweather did last night. He was, he's known to be a very defensive fighter. And that's exactly how he played it last night. Pacquiao had to come at him, and in the end, Pacquiao just didn't have enough, and he was forced to concede that after the fight. I did my best, but my best wasn't good enough. <laughs> there you guys go again. There you go again. I'm, uh, can, can, let me enjoy my victory at least. Let me enjoy my victory. Can I, can I enjoy my victory, <laughs> please? Mayweather is now 48 and 0 in his professional career, Lender. He's never lost a professional fight, but he still feels as though he doesn't get the credit he deserves. And one of the reasons for that is that he's not that exciting a boxer. This fight was so hyped because people were hoping they were going to get a war. They were hoping they were going to get a brawl. They were hoping they were going to get 12 rounds of excitement. And in the end, they got a bit of a chess match. And some boxing purists admire that and respect that, but to be quite frank, it's not that exciting. And did Mayweather celebrate much last night, or was it straight to bed and up early this morning to check out the reviews of his match? <laughs> Well, I didn't see him out on the strip celebrating, if that's what you're asking. Um, I would imagine he would have kept a, a pretty low profile. Uh, not everybody loves him in this town. He's, I suppose you could argue he's good for business in this town, but he's not the most popular guy. Um, I know he was handed a check for $100 million in his locker room after the fight. I guess he'll be uh, heading straight to the bank tomorrow morning uh, to deposit that. Um, but, he, yeah, he, he did say he'd be up bright and early this morning to read the newspapers because uh, he had has faced a lot of criticism from the press. Uh, he said afterwards, you know, I, I really think I've made the non-believers among you believe. Uh, and he, he felt that he made the journalists who'd uh, criticised him eat their words. Uh, I, I, I'm not so sure. I mean, it is quite remarkable for a guy who's 48 and 0 and only now one win away from tying Rocky Marciano's record that he's, that he's not more loved within the sport. But that's just the kind of boxer he is. Well, Don, it was good to hear that you were out on the strip last night looking for him just to check out to see if he was celebrating. <laughs> Don Riddell. Yeah. For, for research purposes, yeah. <laughs> of course. Don Riddell, thank you very much.